Good evening, thank you. Oh, look at that, stone cold comedian. Yeah, <laughs> y'all in the back. Oh, look at that, Mr. Clean gone bad. Uh, let's get some facts straight here. I am not the head bouncer of the improv. I know, look at the bouncer on stage telling jokes. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> A little bit about myself. Uh, when I was a child, I rooted for the Washington Redskins and the Cleveland Indians. I read Dr. Seuss books. I ate Aunt Jemima syrup on my pancakes. And I had an uncle named Ben. I was raised a racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like to keep things light in my set. So let's talk about politics, religion, and the Ukraine invasion. Woo! Yeah, yeah, crazy world out there. What? Is it me or is the world going crazy? Yeah, yeah, insane, insane. Um, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> without delving into politics, I am kind of glad that President Mumbles is going to run another term or, you know, try to try to get reelected. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> uh, you guys remember when uh, President Biden fell off the bike? Was it last year or whenever? Yeah. Well, the reason for that was because they took the training wheels off. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys uh, remember the baby formula shortage, the baby food shortage? Yeah, were any of you guys affected by that? Yeah, yeah. All your kids are grown up. Whew, good, good time to have. Uh, well, the reason for that shortage was Joe Biden was hoarding it for himself. He especially is fond of the strained peas variety. <laughs> Easy on the teeth. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself up here. Woo! Okay, yeah. A little bit more about myself. I'm a type 1 diabetic. Anybody here a type 1 diabetic with a dead pancreas? Anybody? Huh? Am I the only one? Okay, fine. You guys go ahead and eat your chocolate cake. See if I care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My family is very supportive of me being a diabetic. Uh, the other night, my wife and I went to the movies, and as we were leaving the movies, um, I started having a low blood sugar moment. Now, that's when there's too much insulin in my body and not enough food. And what happens is there's a disconnect in the brain. It's like I'm drunk, okay? And uh, so what happens is uh, instead of asking me, hey, honey, you need some orange juice or a snack or something, she just kind of ignores it and uh, pretends like, yeah, everything's fine, everything's fine. But what hap happens is, like, <laughs> I started doing these weird impressions, okay? I started acting like a flopping fish out of water and acting really goofy, uh, a drooling vegetable impression, like, Ugh. yeah, 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 yeah. But what, so what she did is, when I was starting to act really goofy, like I'm really out of it, is she set up a tip jar, and uh, apparently it's a highly profitable thing for her. She made a lot of money that night. So, yeah, anybody else have that problem? Am I the only one? My life's a living hell! Ah! <laughs> I have such fond memories here, uh, especially Hialeah, as a child, I remember driving through Hialeah, or my father was driving through Hialeah and the car broke down and um, he was really trying to find somebody that spoke English. You know, my car broke down. He was like, you know, asking people, no, you know, nobody spoke English. He's like, does anybody speak English? Hello? He got real frustrated. But anyway, that's my uh, memories of Hialeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So. Yeah, good memories, sweet memories. Uh, you guys are fun. I like this crowd. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. How about some cheesy impressions, okay? How about Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Get out of the improv now! Get out! Okay, that was a crappy impression. How about an impression of Je uh, Jeffrey Epstein? All right, I gotta get out of here, but before I do, you guys miss Dr. Fauci? 
You guys miss Dr. Fauci? Okay, before he retired, he actually um, wanted to demonstrate, and he demonstrated the proper way to live life after COVID. Okay, and uh, what I'd like to do real quickly is Dr. Fauci's recommendation for living life after COVID, okay? He wants you to wear a mask, okay? So here we go. Real quick. This is Dr. Fauci. It's very important to wear your mask. There's a lot of pathogens in the air. It's very dangerous. In fact, you should not go out. You just stay at home. When you make love to your wife, you must wear your mask. All right, Miami, this is how you're supposed to wear your mask. Don't even leave your house. Just go ahead and door dash your dinner. It's not safe. It's very dangerous out there. All right. That's enough of my goofiness. Hey, you guys are great. You have a lovely evening, okay? All right. Here's Matt.